So there is this video going around yesterday, which really got to me, and I think it got to a lot of people. In fact, it seems like it's united the internet. Everybody seems to agree that this Santa Claus is terrible. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video that's going around, and it's got this little boy going to see a mall Santa, which I'm I'm glad is still happening. There's no going and sitting on Santa anymore, though they have a table set up, so they're still like six feet. And then the kids can go sit down on the other side of the table and still at least talk to Santa for Christmas. I'm glad that that normalcy is still there. So this little kid goes up to Santa, and the Santa's like, what would you like for Christmas? And he says, I'd like a Nerf gun. And the Santa tells him no. And he's like, are you kidding me? And he basically says, I'm not going to get it. Your dad can get it, but I'm not going to do it. He ends up making the kid cry, which was absolutely terrible. You can see it in the headline here. Woke mall Santa is slammed for making a young boy cry by refusing to give him a toy Nerf gun for Christmas, telling the heartbroken youngster, I can't bring a gun to you. A Nerf gun. A Nerf gun. It's like a foam. It's like a foam arrow. Shout out by air. Okay. I'm sorry. You can't. You can't. Just like Crowder said on his show, you can't stop little boys from wanting these things. As much as you might want to try, Mr. Woke Mall Santa. But the good news here, the little bit of an update, is he was fired for being a jerk. Okay? It's not your place to tell a kid they can't have that. Your job is to say, okay, I'll, I'll do what I can to get it to you, little boy or little girl or whoever. That's what you're paid to do. You're not, you're not paid to make kids cry. But this guy wants to bring his personal beliefs into a holiday. Okay? Terrible. And, you know, there's a lot of kids that are having a tough time this year. I saw this. I just wanted to bring attention to it. Toys for Tots is seeing its worst donation year ever, I believe. It's terrible. So if you have a, if you have a little bit of money and you're capable, maybe consider like throwing a toy in the bin or something or, or giving something to a charity. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything special, you know, but it's just it's terrible that that kids, you know, might not get anything this year because, you know, there are a lot of unemployed people. So I just wanted to put this out there. Maybe consider it next time you're at the store. If they've got a bin there, maybe pick something up, throw it in there. Just saying. But uh, anyway, let's go back to this. So everybody hates this Santa. And, I, and I'm glad to see the internet united. I like it when everybody can come together to uh, blast somebody for being so inconsiderate. So they got some responses here. Here's the little boy. You can see him crying. This guy being a complete jerk. You can see him here crying in his mom's arms. How horrible. This guy deserves the public shaming that he got, for sure. Terrible thing to do. Uh, nope, no guns, Santa tells him. The boy's mother jumps in to clarify that the boy is asking for a Nerf gun, but the Santa Claus continues to refuse. No, not even a Nerf gun. He can be heard saying that. Santa continues, if your dad wants to get it to you, that's fine, but I can't bring it to you. What else would you like? Lots of other toys, Legos, there's bicycles, there's cars and trucks. What do you think? The child bursts into tears and his mother, and his mother once again intervenes to comfort her son. You'll still get one, she reassures him. And I'm pretty sure, so the update is the mall actually took him a Nerf gun and they fired that Santa, which, uh, good. What a, what a jerk. So anyway, here's some tweets that they collected at the Daily Mail has. Woke Santa needs coal in their stockings, making that boy cry. Thankfully, a real Santa made the situation, right? This Santa is a jerk. I have a grandson and I'm getting him a Nerf gun. I'll buy this little boy one and send it to him. My grandson is for shame on this Santa stealing joy from a little boy. And then right here from not the B Christmas justice that mall fired woke Santa and got a Nerf gun for the kid and the ki and he made the kid cry. I had to double check it because I don't know if not the B is supposed to be a legit thing because I think of the Babylon B. But a couple other outlets are reporting it and the Daily Mail also reports it in this article. Woke Santa ruins a child's Christmas with toy guns are bad theory. Props to mom, I would have snatched his beard off. Oh man, this just watched the clip of the mall Santa and they said the kid couldn't get a toy gun. Brutal. Now here's the one of the ones I got. Okay, got this one right here from Lauren. And this is why I said it seems both sides of the aisle are coming together on this one. And I like it. 
Uh, I don't like toy guns for my boys, but this is too far. Just nod and smile, Santa. It's not your place. This video makes me so sad. And and this is good. I like everybody coming together. There doesn't seem to be anybody out there saying, well, it's good. He did a good thing not getting that boy that. A terrible Santa. I like that because uh, that's, that's not what it's about. You don't make Christmas time political for kids. Okay. It's not the time and it's not the place. So that guy should be ashamed of himself. And uh, I think he probably is. He's probably feeling the sting because he doesn't get to keep that job. And I doubt he'll ever be a mall Santa again. So anyway, kind of a good ending for the story. A little bit of a happy ending. Um, Remember Toys for Tots. If you get a chance, maybe consider it. Uh, It's terrible that kids have to suffer, you know, when it should be a, a joyous time. But anyway. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear what you think. Also, if you would, please like and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, by the way. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and hit the notification bell. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.